two young children at the center of a custody battle. A judge ruling Dylan Houston can see his kids again if he surrenders all his guns. Houston is the ex-husband of Ashley Prince, who was shot and killed by Houston's father, her former father-in-law, in a Summerlin law office during a child custody deposition. The ruling comes after a tense court hearing that we first reported on yesterday. And the terror that unfolded in that conference room last week is something one of the survivors tells us they are still trying to cope with. Fox 5's Victoria Saha spoke with the attorney Lisa Rasmussen today as she recalls the moments leading up to the deadly shooting. Victoria joins us in studio. Behind me here is a look at where everyone was placed in that conference room at Prince Law Group. Lisa Rasmussen, who was there, was sitting, sitting in the middle next to Joe Houston's wife, Kelly Houston, and right next to her over there was Joe Houston. And she says it wasn't long after that deposition meeting started where Rasmussen says the first couple of shots rang out. That morning of April 8th was supposed to be like any other deposition up on the fifth floor at Prince Law Group. Rasmussen says given how both sides were very close to the case, she knew it was going to be a tense meeting. She says she met up with Joe Houston and his wife in the parking lot and made their way up into the conference room, initially sitting in a different spot. But Dennis had the Houstons and Rasmussen move. So Rasmussen found herself with the, her back to the door. She says they were three questions in when she heard a loud noise. I think I turned to my right to uh, maybe look at Joe and say, what was that? And um, I saw a, a barrel. Um, it was right next to me on my right, kind of at, I felt like it was at table level. And I, and I don't even remember seeing a hand. I just saw a barrel and a sleeve. And I, uh, I still wasn't processing at that point, I, I, and then I recall him standing up and then pointing the, uh, then what I realized was a gun across the table. And at that moment, I became clear um, on what was happening. I turned back to my uh, left and uh, jumped up. Kelly, I think, was just kind of frozen there. And I grabbed her, pulled her up. The court reporter had already jumped up. She was walking toward the door, which was right behind us. I grabbed Kelly, we followed her um, and out the conference room door and then just immediately across the lobby. Of, um, I heard four or five more shots as we were doing that and it was. Rasmussen tells me when she heard those first few shots, she remembers not seeing Dennis or Ashley across the table. She thinks they may have been du have ducked or possibly been struck by those initial bullets. Reality set in on what happened as Rasmussen recalls sitting in the parking lot and not seeing anyone come out in handcuffs or paramedics bringing anyone out. Later tonight, Rasmussen and I will discuss what could have been done in that custody battle that perhaps could have prevented all of this. John.